everybody. We are looking at Sunset Beach, but what we're doing here, we're taking down the old bamboo. Not that part yet, but this part here. So you see these uh, runners for the for the fence? We're using a three quarter, uh, no, half inch uh, Schedule 40 galvanized pipe. You see it? Instead of the bamboo, because the bamboo only lasts about four years. And this hopefully will last maybe 10 times. I mean, two and a half times that, maybe 10 years. Uh, so that's what we've been doing the last two days. We have a technique for what we've got. The way we attach this is originally we had holes, or still have holes, through here. And then we put uh, eight millimeter rebar th through, through there, and then we tied the bamboo to it because there was no other way to connect bamboo to a concrete pole. And so that's what the system we came up with. Well, we still got this eight millimeter rebar is going through there, it's still good. It's kind of rusty, but it's still good, but we just wrap them up real tight. And there's a little trick we use with the vice grips where we kind of pry it and make it really snug and tight, and then it don't go hardly anywhere. It's real solid. We got uh, the beach cleaning girls here. They're uh, moving this plant away from the front here because that's going to keep well we are going to put bamboo vertical bamboo here up up and down this whole thing uh, but the problem is is that it is going to keep the bamboo wet down at the bottom and it'll rot so we're removing it like here and they're planting it over here in some you know circles and and stuff and uh, uh, so we'll be uh, kind of trying to fill this area up because during the dry season this all this sand just drains is super dry but if we have it full of this stuff it'll hold the moisture in and hopefully help our plants because they always struggle we uh everybody hi they, they think this is a racetrack sometimes but anyway, this is our old gate and it's pretty rotten here. And so we got to build a new gate. We're still going to build it with the with the uh, three four or half inch uh, Schedule 40 GI pipe, and do the same thing on this side here. This side of the uh, you got to watch out when you get in the road. Like I said, it's like a racetrack here. So I'll get down at this end and you can kind of see the the length of it. We also yeah, see there, this is all uh, Sunset Beach, but yeah, we've already got these three here. The other thing we're doing too, instead of like welding them, you know, where the splice is, we're cutting them so that we have threads on these ends, and we're using these little couplings right here, and we just screw them in to there, and there's no welding, which is not a big deal. We could have welded them, but wherever you weld, you're going to have rust, because that's not galvanized no more. I mean, I got a welder right there in that blue little welding shop shed thing down there I don't know if it's in focus but anyway uh, that's my friend that's where I used to live actually I rented his house but and he's a welder over in Saudi Arabia uh, or somewhere thereabouts the Middle East somewhere uh, but he's home now wait for the next contract so uh, yeah, he's been doing all of my welding for me my barbecue grill and stuff and as you can see, on the other side, the main lot side, see, it just looks like hell. I mean, those gates just fell down. Uh, the bamboo's all rotten. The netting that we use, the fish net, after four years, it's just gone to hell. You can see all the bamboo's rotten and stuff. Just falling apart, basically. So this is the next side we're gonna do. We're gonna, we've got uh, one inch uh, GI pipe instead of doing concrete poles because at some point in time we'll have a like a fancy fence here when we build our house so temporarily we're going to put GI one inch GI pipe uh, like where the poles are every six or eight feet and uh, go along here and then put the other GI pipe there and then uh, vertical bamboo so it'll uh, last a little bit longer we hope got out of this bamboo and we also have to do all of our side fence there all the way down because that bamboo is also going uh, bad and the netting is starting to tear 
Uh, so yeah, we gotta do this whole thing. So first we're doing this, and then we're gonna uh, build new gates. It's the same thing with the GI pipe, and then the bamboo on the front, and uh, and then we're gonna do this main lot here, and then we're gonna do that whole row all the way back there. That's like 200, 200 feet at least of uh, fence that we gotta redo. So. We'll be busy for a while and buying a lot of GI pipe, and I hope it lasts. I really hope it does. It's really easy to install and all that stuff, so uh, if we're lucky, uh, it's going to last. The GI pipe we used on the uh, volleyball poles is, is uh, since 2012, so that's eight years old, and it looks like brand new. So, I mean, I haven't really examined that closely lately, but... Uh, it's holding up it seems to be holding up just fine so that's like I said that's uh, that's eight years so anyway the girls are planting the plants and we're gonna call it a day we've been working all day yesterday and all day today getting all this stuff done so we will be back with more we're at Sunset Beach my paradise on Bentayan Island Bye for now. Everybody, we are walking down. I bet you're wondering why are those guys carrying that thing? Well, that thing is the gate, one side of the gate for the for the uh, beach. So we're making a, a sliding gate. Basically, we have a sliding gate now, but it's made out of bamboo, and it uh, uh, doesn't really slide. You have to pick it up and unhook it and hook it. Okay. Now. This side would be. Okay, so I don't think you can see it. It's kind of dark now, and motorcycles are coming down the road. But that is basically how the gate goes. But I gotta put the camera down because I gotta show them how it's really gonna go. So I'll be back. Bye for now. Hey everybody, you're probably going, "Wow, what a bird's eye view he's got." Well, that is true because I am up on the ladder here replacing if you can see the sun's not in the way my floodlight it got water in, in it and was shorting out my little LED beach light my uh, Firefly brand 20 watt really bright really good bulbs and I've got them connected here uh, on this pole here it's uh, 16 feet high so I'm a, well yeah, it's about 16 feet high. So I'm about 15 feet up where I replaced the bulb. I replaced the uh, uh, light. But anyway, I'm up uh, in with the coconut trees, as you see, and over the rooftops and that. Looking out yonder in the ocean. So anyway, I got this one done. I got another one over there and what it did. See how I've got it clamped on there with that clamp? Well, the clamp must be a little bit loose or something because during the storm it swung around and it's pointing at the other people's beach. So if I turn that on, it lights up their beach, not mine. So I got to go over there and loosen it and swing it around. Probably clear some of those coconut limbs out of the way because they're kind of in the way and they may be pushing it around too. So I'll get over there and I'll get that taken care of. And we'll be back with more bird's eye view of the ocean and the beach from my paradise on Italian island bye okay, for now so we got that light replaced with a new one there and all remounted and everything here this is commander number two right here this guy and now i gotta go over here and i've actually been over here but i forgot the video so coming over here to the other beach light this is for nighttime we got a party coming over here the 26th of december so the day after christmas they're having a party but Here's the other pole. You can see the concrete part. Well, it goes up there in the light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there facing their beach. And if I turn it this way, look at all the coconut stuff I've got in my way. So I've got to clear out a bunch. I've got to actually at some point move this tree here because this tree is not doing anything for us right now. So I need to chop it back and get it out because i got to get up my ladder and then have the light actually work not just be pointing at a bunch of leaves here so i get up on there and do that 
And so we're chopping away these guys. I think I got this guy just about chopped here. Let me see. No, I got another chop I got to do on that one. All right, give me my knife, honey. Give me my knife. So we're going we're gonna to see a chop right live on. There we go. See that? I don't know if you got that, but there we go. Now, it's coming down. See that here? So that's the big boy. And he's coming down. <laughs> lift it up. You have to lift up. So now we're hauling this over. Put it on the pile. Now we got a bunch of these. Not that we need them. We give them to a guy that used them to to uh, cook his blood clams. Uh, so anyway, we're almost there. I've got to trim a couple off of this tree. And then we'll maybe have a light that'll work and if not I gotta chop some more of these and really skinny this guy down a lot but like I said we're gonna be moving this guy real soon uh, as part of our projects here uh, redoing the fences and just kind of revamping things but we're moving these coconut trees out to the beach as you can see it's all sun there so we're gonna have some coconut trees here and there maybe four maybe we'll do two like a V like that there and maybe two with a bee like that and then maybe one over here behind this little fence corner and one over there behind that fence corner I don't know something like that we'll come up with a scheme that uh, looks nice and gives people some nice beet shade so anyway we are going to keep trimming away and fixing lights and we'll be back with more we're doing it today the fishermen are coming in too see right there he just landed that may be dodong my friend I don't know Jason? Yeah, that's Dodon, my friend. The boat's name is Jason. That's his son's name. So, anyway, we will be back with more bringing in the fish and fixing the lights on Sunset Beach. Bye hey for now. <clears throat> now you can see the light. However, it's pointing <laughs> to the other, the other beach over there, not mine. So, I got to loosen those things up and spin it around. And I'm going to cut. See, we've trimmed this guy back pretty much he's pretty thin we trim the limbs off of this guy here because he's watch out for the sun yeah cause this guy was swinging out blocking the light from the beach after I swing it and so we will I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and swing it now and then we'll see what we got to chop after that but this is our pile of uh, leaves that we've chopped down already see that's a big old huge pile so we gotta take those over to the other side and like I said my friend's father uh, uses these after they dry out like this where they're dried and he uh, boils uh, blood clams in big uh, like 30 gallon containers outside and then they uh, ship them to Cebu for using food soups and stuff like that so anyway I'm gonna uh, get up on the ladder we're gonna move the ladder from this tree right here where I was chopping over to that pole and uh, swing that light back where it belongs and we'll be back with more light swinging on Bentayan Island bye for now hey everybody we are here at Sunset Beach and I'm renting it today for a party so they're having a birthday party. The, uh, I don't know what time they're going to start, but I had to come down and open the gates and open these gates because we they have them parked their motorcycles and stuff over here on my main lot. And plus, that's a shower and a toilet over there and a little kitchen area if they want to, you know, wash dishes or something. But they paid a uh, like a professional decorator, party decorator, to come and set everything up. So you can see here that they're uh, putting tablecloths on and they moved all of my benches out here to look out on the uh, entertainment area I guess they'll be dancing and stuff see over here they did the same thing you, you can see that and then they set up the plastic chairs with a tablecloth which is really nice on here and uh, I took down the dog fence so it's all o o open and clean over here they're putting the uh, the skirts on the table so they bring these and tack and tape skirts on here they also have this big uh, 
kind of like a, what do they call these? Uh, up something, but it's a it's a manual leave. It's it's not like a pop up tent or cover. It's it's one that comes in big chunks and then you just slide them like right here here. They have a they have a tube here and then they drop this in here and then there's probably one up there too at the top and then it goes over and supports all that and then they got a big tarpaulin they put on top so they're getting it ready. And it is a beautiful day. It's been raining like off and on here for, I don't know, months. Almost every other day it's been raining. And uh, it uh, finally, there, I guess there's, uh, we're getting into, at the end, hopefully, of the rainy season and more into the dry season now. And uh, we will uh, be... Uh, getting better weather and then I can finish working on my gates because I'm making new gates for here and I'm making a new uh, fence for here this side a uh, Sunset Beach side put new bamboo up uh, new gates made out of uh, GI uh, pipe uh, galvanized pipe and uh, so we're kind of dressing the place up a little bit just maintenance type stuff you know really and uh, over here this lot here the fences used to be bamboo so we're going to do the same thing we're going to put some uh, half inch galvanized pipe uh, in the ground and cement uh, footings and run the same uh, pipe this half inch GI pipe is pretty sturdy stuff it's really surprised me how uh, how strong it is and uh, then we're going to uh, tie bamboo onto here like kind of like this fence here or this gate so it'll be similar to that, but it'll be tied on with like a fishing line. Uh, that's what they usually use to, uh, if, if if you can't nail it, then they tie it with a fishing line. And so anyway, yeah, so we got to do this whole front fence here. That's a new gate that Lindy and I built. But then the pandemic came and we couldn't get down here because they put us in lockdown. People couldn't back ride on mo ruler cycle so I could come down here but I need her to help me so we just kind of abandoned the gate project for now and I'm kind of glad we did because it's all going to be uh, Sergio my friend down there that owns a welding shop uh, we're going to weld it up with the GI half inch GI pipe and that'll be a much longer lasting and sturdier and like I said I got to put new fence posts in and stuff too so we are just waiting for the people to show up because they got to pay uh, before they come and we will be back with more party time at Sunset Beach it's a kids birthday party see and they have uh, kids they throw the biggest birthday parties for kids it's amazing I mean, I mean even if they're two years old they'll throw a party like you would believe I mean they'll have a big old roasted pig and all kind, kinds of stuff so Anyway, we will be back with more party time at Sunset Beach. Bye for now. I'll leave you with a picture of the potion. Bye for now.